Hi everybody, welcome to Cake Tastic Cakes. I'm going to show you another piece from my Alice in Wonderland cake, the pocket watch. So here we go. Check it out. People have actually started sending me pictures of the things they make and how amazing do they look. I love getting these. I love showing them off. Send me more people. I will show them off for you. All right, I just want to say please like and subscribe if you find this video helpful. And now we'll begin for real. All right, I took some gold colored gum paste that I had made, cut the circle out in whatever size I wanted my pocket watch to be. And I'm using the fondant spreader, as you can see there, and I'm rounding off the edges. I'm smoothing it off because, as you know, pocket watches are not sharp edged. They're very rounded. I picked it up, turned it over, rounded off the bottom, did the top over and over until you kind of, you can see it there. It's pretty nice and smoothed out. There's no sharp corners anymore on it. I'm going to use that little piece of dried spaghetti there uh, to prepare to put the little winding part of the watch, the stem of the watch, I guess it is. And I use regular spaghetti. I don't use toothpicks. Spaghetti works great, so you can use it and no one will get hurt. Roll out a little piece of cylinder shape that you saw there, stick it on very carefully, and then I use the knife to just even it out so it didn't have any squishiness to it. Took a ball, flattened it out with my rolling pin there. I'm using my knife blade to gently press some impressions around the edges because you know the winding part of pocket watches, it has that little grooved edge to it. So I made the big ones, you can see I'm doing chop, 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 all the little tiny pieces there just to rough it up and give it that texture that and the look that they have. Because it's laying flat like that, it's not going to fit properly. So I just took a little nip off of the back there just so it would look a little better when I stuck it on which as you can see, I did. And you can see the uh, little piece of spaghetti sticking out there. That's no problem because right there, you see that little ball stuck right on top. There you go, just connected it all together. I'm amazing like that, right? And I'm using this, this is gonna become the face of the watch. I'm just kind of measuring it out and putting a mark on it to do the decorations around it later. Um, this piece I've used in other videos. I've used the pearl chain for the genie cake video. I got it, I want to say, at Walmart. It's a Wilton mold. I use it for a lot of stuff. I don't really advocate special tools very often, but this thing, yeah, it comes in useful a lot. So as you can see, I'm using the little fil filigree type mold there. You press it in, as you saw, you roll it out flat. You lay your knife flat across the surface and then slice across. Peels it right, takes all that extra off. Peel it out carefully. You might have to add a little Crisco or grease so it doesn't stick. But take four pieces, stick them on there like that. I ended up spray painting the whole thing with edible gold glitter. And then roll out some white nice and thin and make the face of your watch. This is Alice in Wonderland, so you can see the numbers are all backwards and messed up. Normal pocket watch, have normal numbers, whatever you want. But there you go. It looks really cool and it's easy. So don't forget, like and subscribe. And don't forget... As always, thank you for watching Cake Tastic Cakes.